Hello and welcome back to Douglas the Toothpaste Wizards vlog. This is episode number 11 and we are calling this one Boom. Why? Because we are going to be reviewing Boom Tooth Tablets. This was a request by my friend Tamsin who is a lovely English lady who resides in Germany and it was a gift to me from another English friend of mine called Lucy. Lucy, thank you so much for sending me the toothy tabs um, whenever it was a couple years ago. Um, I have enjoyed them. Thanks. Anyway, um, I just want to say thanks to both of them. We're going to be doing a review of Boom Toothy Tabs. Uh, these are, this one is called Lush. There are other varieties. Interestingly, these toothy tabs, and Tamsin was looking for something which was a foamy toothy tab. This one I think brings the, the toothy tab or the, the tab foaminess. I'm not a huge tab aficionado, although I would be happy to be. I like these toothy tabs, they're pretty good. Um, ingredients wise, these toothy tabs are very interesting. First of all, it's a little black pellet, which is great. And I'm going to show you how to use the toothy tab when we get into doing the review in the bathroom part of the show. The toothy tabs, these toothy tabs, the Boom Lush flavored, um, they have charcoal, um, sea salt, sorbitol, Persian lime oil, a Persian lime, mm, very interesting, aniseed oil, we've had anise, it's got black pepper oil, powdered gun powder tea, which is either a green tea or oolong tea, fun to say, um, and it's also got or organic ground chili. Now, I am a big spicy fan, so I'm happy about the chili. It also has something inside of it, which I think is pretty funny, called cream of tartare. Now, cream of tartare, aren't we supposed to be getting rid of tartare in our mouth? No, oh yes, we are, but cream of tartare is actually just a powder called potassium bitartrate, and uh, it's used in baking and other things. Anyway, it's, uh, it's just a, a, a sort of a leavener chemical. Maybe it adds some foaminess uh, to our toothy tab experience with Lush, with the gunpowder, charcoal, tea, all those interesting things, ground chili peppers. Anyway, this is gonna be an interesting one. Before we get into it, I'd like to offer you my coronavirus lockdown vitality tip of the episode. Here it is. So when you're out there um, in the coronavirus times and people are wearing masks and you feel like people aren't social distancing enough from you, I've discovered another way to bring some vitality into your social distancing experience. Now, everybody wears masks nowadays, mostly in enclosed spaces, that's good, and if you don't bathe yourself, like I suggested in a previous episode, people will stay away from you from the stank, but if you do like to bathe yourself, what I have found to be useful is just have a fake sneeze from time to time. That gives people a little bit, makes people want to be distanced from you. So let's have a couple of fake sneezes. So we get the big fake sneeze, you know, which is like a <laughs> Or you could just do a couple of small ones, you know, like <laughs> If you're in the mask, it works a lot better too. That's always nice. You could do medium sneezes. <laughs> All of those good fake sneezes helpful for helping people to keep the social distancing. That's the coronavirus lockdown tip of the week. So that was the coronavirus lockdown tip of the week to keep your vitality, social distancing. Now, before we get in there to do a review of the Boom Toothy Tabs Lush Flavor, I want to remind you of our rating system. I am rating for taste, cleanliness, foaminess, mouthfeel, aftertaste, and of course, the bonus, aesthetics and smell. All right, let's get in there and check out the Boom Toothy Tabs. All right, here we are in the bathroom about to try out our Boom Toothy Tabs. Now the way the Toothy Tabs work is you shake, you have to open up the Toothy Tab uh, container and then you shake out a Toothy Tab for yourself. And here's a good looking Toothy Tab. So that's what the Toothy Tab looks like. And the way you use it is you just put it in your mouth and you chew it up. And you like grind it into a paste. Mm. Kind of a weird experience, but mm, yeah. Mm. Wet the toothbrush and then you start writing. The taste is kind of interesting. Look, oh, it's got good foaminess. Then you go to it. I'm not a big fan of the mouth milk because there's still like little granules of the, the tab that I chewed up. I like the color though, huh? It's like gray. Weird.
Oh, that's a good roll in this, huh? It's pretty good. Oh, oh, and look at this running down my face, huh? That's kind of nasty. Ah, ah, ah. All right. The Toothy Tabs Lush Boom experience was a pretty good one. I like, smell is not that much of an issue. It doesn't smell, it smells okay. But I like the aesthetics just because they're kind of weird, right? You've got like a gray tab or a dark tab. And uh, and then I really liked the, the foam. It was good foaminess. It And it was a gray foam, which looks kind of funky and weird. Uh, the taste was was pleasant, it was okay, it wasn't great. I didn't love the mouthfeel because it kind of granulated. In the aftermath, the aftertaste is average and um, yeah, I feel like it gave me a pretty good clean as well. So I'm not not bad on the uh, on the Toothy Tabs Boom Lush flavor. All right, let's get back in there and do the ratings. All right, we're back from the bathroom after having done our review of Boom Toothy Tabs Lush flavor with charcoal and uh, gunpowder tea, powdered gunpowder tea, as well as a whole bunch of other cool stuff like cream of tartar, and uh, also it's got the, the limonene in it, of course, uh, which many of them have, Persian lime oil, chili pepper, oh, black pepper oil, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff in there. All right, I like these toothy tabs pretty much. Um, some things good, some things not so good, um, but these I have found are also really good for travel, um, very easy to transport. Also a uh, shout out to the company who's making these. They are using recycled plastic and they are against animal testing, it says so right there on the little bottle. Um, and anyway, all good stuff uh, contributing to sustainability. I like that, that's a sustainability thing. Same thing for Alexandra and her, uh, her teeth lover's tooth powder. Sustainability is an interesting and important factor in these days. Hmm. All right, anyway, um, for this toothpaste, uh, here are my, my ratings. So for taste, I give it a six. Foaminess, I give it a seven. I thought the foaminess was pretty damn good. Um, it, was, it was good, you saw that, and it made the cool freaking gray foam over there. Um, for mouthfeel, I didn't like it because it, it was sort of like grainy and uncomfortable in the mouth, so I only give it a three. Uh, for cleanliness though, left me with a good, you know, good cleanliness feeling, I'll give it a six. And the aftertaste uh, was very neutral, so I'm just going to give it a 5. That leads to a total of 5.4 for Boom Toothy Tabs. Yay! Thanks to Lucy for sending them, Tams and for being interested in tooth tablets in general, or yeah, toothpaste tablets, or whatever you call them. And a big shout out to all my fans out there in the world. Please keep watching. Joey in New York, thanks for supporting. Uh, to Tegan and Maddox and Dominic and Esme up in Massachusetts. Big shout outs to you too. Tamsin down in Munich. Thank you very much for watching my show. Please, please keep spreading it around. Send the love. Send me some comments, recommendations, and subscribe down there. I uh, would be very appreciative. Also, big love to Alex up in Finland. And uh, maybe he's got some new, uh, or maybe he's heard about some new Hucky Honolulu episodes. Big shout outs and love to everybody around the world. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Please subscribe, like, comment, and check me out the next time. This has been episode 11 of Douglas of Toothpaste with Wizards vlog. Boom! Until the next time, peace and I'm out.